Hi crafty friends, it's me Mary and today I wanted to do a little um, craft with me session. And um, so I've been watching all these YouTube videos and I just got so inspired because everybody is getting these Nouveau Shimmer Powders I think they are. I think they just came out. Um, and I was just watching everybody use those and though my budget, <laughs> you know, I can't really buy that kind of stuff right now because my budget isn't, well, it's not within my budget, I guess I should say. And I've already got these um, Lindy Stamp Gang Magical Powders. So this is what I already have. And watching all the demos and stuff on these new Nouveau Shimmer Powders, they look so similar to this, so I really don't want to go out and, and buy some thinking that they're pretty much the same thing as these Lindy's Magicals that I already have and been using for years. So I just got inspired to use these again. I haven't used them in forever, it seems like, and um, so I got some beach pictures here and let's get started. <laughs> um, I did start off before we were on camera here and I put some gesso on the paper just so it had something to grab to. I use this um, Liquitex Professional Gesso and this is just in, you know, white. So I put that down on the paper and I've let it dry. I think it's pretty dry now. And these are the photos that I'm going to use. I'll put those to the side. And then, well, I guess... How am I going to arrange these? I think... I think I'll probably put them around here. So let me draw like... No, I sometimes... <laughs> or I used to take a pencil and draw around this so I knew where the magical should be. But with gesso on here, that thing won't erase. <laughs> I swear it just sticks on there. Everything sticks on this paper with the gesso. So I think that's how I'm going to do it. I'm just going to have to remember that it's sort of around the sides where I need the, the magicals to show. And so the colors that I chose were this um, tilt -a wheel Teal and Fuzzy Navel Peach and Summer Love and Sun. So which one should I start with? I think that I will go ahead and start with the yellow. I don't know why. <laughs> but um, I'm going to go ahead and spray. I'm just going to take a tiny bit because that's really all it takes. And you'll see it turns all different colors. I mean, it's not just the the yellow in there. I mean, it takes a lot of different colors to make yellow. So you'll see that the more you spray, the more it'll, you know, go around. I always keep a paper towel right near me when I'm doing this because it does get pretty messy. And sorry if I hit the camera, the arm is like right in my way. So I think this will be pretty like that. And I just sort of swirl, swirl it around until I, you know, I get it to where I want it to be. And like if you want it in a certain area, all you really have to do is spray water there. Oh, that's turning out really pretty. I think then I'm going to go ahead and put some blue in there, maybe down on the bottom here, and maybe we can get some green mixing. Maybe I should dry it a little first. Okay, I'm going to pause you so I can dry this for a second. Now, I didn't dry it all the way because I wanted it to mix a little bit with this blue. Spray some water down. Get this tilt a wheel teal going. 
Oh, I don't want to mix any of the yellow in there, so I'm going to wipe this. Let me find the end of the paper towels here. Of course, I got a new roll. My husband actually just scored this roll at the grocery store, so we're lucky to have any. wipe this off oh crap it's already sort of seeping into the paper there put some blue down get a little bit more and I immediately close it up because if you got that wet inside there it's pretty much ruined isn't that pretty you can see that there's some green in there already. Are we even in the frame here? I'm sorry. I'm just going to town. I really like this color a lot. I think I'm gonna spray a little bit more over to this side. Now if I didn't put the gesso on the paper here, this would have already ripped probably. So we're just swirling it around here, getting the color to mix a little and you get the hang of this. So I'm going to go ahead and um, pause it for a minute and I'll finish up drying this and I'll come back on. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I did finish it up with the peach, and as you can see, it turned out very shimmery. It's so pretty. Um, it turned out a little bit more sandy color than I thought it would, but that's okay, because we're dealing with sand in the pictures. And just a little hint of yellow there in the corner. Um, I forgot to tell you at the beginning that this is just regular basil paper. Um, there's nothing um, really special about this paper it's um I think it's called something cocoa um, but anyway it's just plain white basil cardstock and um, I'm not really liking how the edges are looking for a scrapbook page here so I think I'm gonna try and find that's my kitty in the background try and find a, a scrapbook page that I can use to border it so let's look through the pad here and see what we got. It's funny though to do these um, craft with me's because I don't come on here with a plan. I um, I have no plan actually. <laughs> My only plan is that I'm using those two photos and that I wanted to use the magicals. <laughs> but that was my plan. There's no like, um, hold on one second, let me grab the cat. So yeah, so like I was saying, they're, um, <laughs> Sorry about that. There is no plan, and um, so that's why it's intimidating for me to get on and do this with you guys because I don't know where this is going. This may end up to be a scrapbook page that I really don't like very much, but um, we'll just keep going here. So let's look through the Sunny Days paper because that's the paper that I'd like to use. Um, it was between that and some Kaiser Craft and about 10 others but um, I think that the sunny days is gonna be good because we got that sand picture so I like this one a lot I don't think that will go didn't use any green or pink Uh, 
like the birds. Um, nothing's really looking good at this point. Let's see. Oh, I like that one. Um, not sure. Oh, um, this might go. Let's see. This might actually be sort of cute on the sides. So sorry about the lighting. It's late at night. It's the only time I have to really do, um, cause I got a little guy that likes my attention. So, um, yeah, let's rip this one out. have this thing about cutting that top like jagged edge off so let's do that Cut it for the sides here. I think we'll just do it right to the edge of the cutting board here just to make it easy on me so I don't have to do any measuring. I really don't like to measure. <laughs> I'm sure most of you don't like it. in my son's room and my son is ignoring him. He is into his video games tonight. It's my older son I'm talking about now. <laughs> Not my little one. Okay. So let's see how that looks. side, that side, and the paper sort of wavy because I've got all that, I had all that water on it, so, well, you know what, I don't know if I like that or not, hmm, this is hard, <laughs> I am not sure if I like that, let's go back to the drawing board here. And see if we can find a different paper. I do like this one that I had in the beginning. Um, I don't know though. I wish I could have figured this out before I cut the paper. Hmm. You know what? Let me pause this and, and see what I can come up with. Okay, I'm back and this is where we ended up. So I ended up choosing the sandy side border and stitching that. I used some crochet items up here on the top and some pretty laces. I used a ton of ephemera. <laughs> I think I went a little overboard, but I just, I love doing that. And then at the bottom here, um, I don't know if you can see that I did some more antique lace and I used some of that Tim Holtz mummy cloth and um, one of the biggest elements that I really love in this page is this pull tab right here you pull it up and it says when you stop and look around life is pretty amazing so I really love that and I do those in my journals too I just call them magic pulls <laughs> and um, I just think they're so cute and they're really easy to do too. So, so that's where I ended up. I hope that you enjoyed my page and I hope that you had a good time with me today. Thank you so much for watching my channel and please comment below. 
I love getting comments. So until next time, friends, love ya. Bye-bye.